guys and welcome to my channel. I hope that you guys are all doing very, very fabulous. So today's video, I'm going to test out Moira, Mora, Mira, Moira, <laughs> Moira Cosmetics or Moira Beauty. I, I'm sorry, you guys, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, comment below. I, um, mispronounce things quite a bit on my channel. If you've been with me for a while, you know. So if you can relate, subscribe to my channel. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Subscribe to my channel because you love makeup. For those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much. So I bought two palettes. I purchased false lashes. I purchased a blush and I purchased a, a liquid shadow. So I'm gonna open these up. I'm gonna show them to you and I tell you what, they get A plus for packaging. I gotta show you this because it is definitely a work of art. They they did a lot of, of thought into this. So you open it up like this, it's cardboard, and it's got a little card in here. So let me show you this just real quick. Look at how beautiful, and, and this is heavy too. It's not like, you know, uh, thin little, it's like a good decent size. And then it's just blank in there. Um, and it does come with a little, like, you know, to close the envelope. Isn't that sweet? That is so nice. And it just says a moment with you. And then it's just blank inside. So how pretty, I mean, that can be for, for anything, a thank you, um, a get well, a congratulations, you know, Valentine's day, whatever it is. Anyways. All right. So the back also looks like this. By the way, this palette is called A Moment With You. Um, so you open it up like this. This is just what the packaging looks like. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Pat McGrath. You know how like you have to undo the uh, packaging before you actually get into the product? Um, but I don't know. I have to say, I think Moira has, has, it, uh, has one notch up. On your Pat McGrath. Anyway, so it's cardboard. Let me show it to you up close. Oh, the little, hold on. Let me show you the outside a little bit up close. Is that not just so beautiful? And then there, and then there's like a little thing here. Let me see if I can, that kind of was on top of the, of the eyeshadows. I mean, beautiful, right? And then look at this stunner of a palette. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Now, this one is exactly the same. It's called I'm Falling For You. Um, I'll open it up. It's got the little card as well. This one just happens to be pink. Um, so here's this one. Is this not beautiful also? So I have already um, used both of these palettes and I can tell you that the quality is incredible. The spoiler alert. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna use actually this eyeshadow palette, but I am gonna use all of the products. I'm gonna use the blush, I'm gonna use the false lashes, and I'm gonna use the um, uh, liquid eyeshadow as well. Yeah. Let me swatch a couple of them for you just before I get like real into it. Um, go for these top ones here. Really pretty, huh? For these three here in the middle, these are all like super soft. Do these down here on the bottom. Put one right here and the other one right there. So, so pretty. So I think I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly, you guys. If you want a slow down version tutorial of any one of these products, please let me know, comment below, I'm happy to do that. Uh, but I just kinda wanna show you guys the quality and um, the beautiful glitters and shimmers. They remind me, I'm gonna go into the shade right here. They remind me, and this 
I know is gonna be a bold statement, but these um, glitters and shimmers, they remind me of Natasha Denona, that type of quality. Um, I have a couple, actually I've got three um, her, of her mini palettes. And when I think about her glitter formula or her shimmer formula, it reminds it that, yeah, I know. Now, Natasha Denona, hold on one second. I got distracted, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go in this bottom color right here and start darkening up the crease and also kind of bring that up as a transition. Um, now, Natasha Denona is made in Italy and these are made in China, but the quality of these palettes, whatever company in China or manufacturer they're using, very good, impressive. All right, that is blending really well, as you guys can see. Um, by the way, you guys, normal price for these palettes um, was $18.50, but they were having a um, like a 30% off sale, I think, or up to 40% off, something like that. So I purchased these palettes. Each palette came down to $13.88. And I'll tell you the price of the other things too when I start um, using them. But I'm just taking this into the crease, bringing it upward as a transition. Man, it's blending really beautifully. So now I'm gonna start to darken up the outer V. I'm gonna go in that one right there. Like I said, if you guys want a kind of a slow down tutorial on any of these products, I'm happy to do that. I know I'm going through this pretty quickly. Um, but really, I just wanted you guys to kind of see the formula which because I already, I think I mentioned this earlier in my video, um, I had already filmed this video yesterday and I didn't like it. So I scratched the whole thing so now I'm starting over. And as a small YouTuber, number one, I purchase everything with my own money. I'm not privy to PR, not yet, and I'm not getting paid by YouTube either. So when there are um, products that I like, I buy them because I want them in my collection because I'm purchasing them with my own money. So I generally wait for a sale, which generally makes me late to the game as far as a makeup lover on YouTube who posts on YouTube. Um, but I also edit all of my own videos as well. So <laughs> when I'm in the editing process, if I don't like how the content is coming out, I scratch the whole thing, which is a lot of work just kind of down the drain. But you know what? It happens. The woes of YouTube, you guys. Um, I know a lot of bigger YouTubers, um, the ones who have thousands, and I'm talking thousands, even millions of subscribers, they outsource their editing. And honestly, I don't blame them. I do not blame them because it takes so much work to edit, um, especially if you're not familiar with how to edit. You know, it, 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 YouTube is definitely a learning curve <laughs> and boy, am I learning things. Um, and it's wonderful and it's great, but all right, I'm going to go into this one right here. No glitter glue or anything yet. I just want to see how the pigment performs on its own, even though I'm gonna put this all over the lid. I'm going into this color right here. I as well, just to brighten the eye up a little bit. Okay. Let me do it with the glitter glue. So Y'all know I love glitter glue. I'm gonna go ahead and put the glitter glue on both of the eyes because I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, glitter glue's on. Mm -hmm. The glitter glue also helps just, God, that's so pretty. It's so pretty. It helps to prevent fallout on my face. 
glitter is going to be a little bit heavier than of course the powder so it tends to to fall when when things start to fade throughout you know the day um and i end up being a big glittery mess at the end of the day which hey there's nothing wrong with that i guess we all <laughs> we don't mind being glittery at the end of the day who doesn't but for the sake of longevity in your eye look Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna add just a tad more glitter glue to my inner corners and just the inner lid just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with this like bright white color. So give me one sec. I'm gonna bring it up and over a little bit. Whew. Wow. Wow, yowza. Man, okay, I might, I'm gonna stamp that out just a little bit. And then, okay, now the other side. So, so beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of rub things out just a little bit, smooth them out. Man, that's so beautiful, you guys. I mean, really, really beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into this color right here, the one that I put all over the lids, the first color, and I'm gonna take this one underneath the lower lash line just a little bit. All right, you guys, now, before I move on to mascara, despite my better judgment, I'm gonna put liquid liner on. Just using the e.l.f. liquid liner in jet black. And um, hopefully I don't screw it up too bad. <laughs> you have to be confident around liquid liner because it can smell your fear and it will turn on you. All right, here we go. There's that one. I just did kind of like a half wing. Like I didn't take it all the way to the inner corner. I don't know if you guys can. Oh, and it's already bleeding. Man, I already messed up on my eyeliner. Man. Oh, well, you know what? We move on. Okay, you guys, liquid liner is on. It's totally uneven. I'm going to bring you in real close. I'm going to come in real close. Do you see where... It kind of bled in my crease a little bit. Oh well, we move on. I can't, mm, mm. anyways, all right. I'm gonna put mascara on. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I'm not gonna do too many coats or try to really, you know, uh, get my lashes really, really lifted because I'm gonna put the false lashes on. Okay, guys, the mascara's on and um i'm going to move on to the blush let the mascara dry before i move on to the false lashes and the blush that i got um was a it's called signature ombre blush in the shade morning sunshine normal price for this blush is nine dollars and fifty cents and i paid seven dollars and twelve cents for it just take a fluffy brush and i'm gonna this pink whoa I, I mean, super, super pigmented. Tap off. There was a ton of fluff. And as I was rubbing, pigment got all over my shirt. But anyways, um, trying to just stick with the, the, the pinker shade is the most dominant. Um, so... Beautiful, no doubt, I, no doubt. But to spend $10 on it, like there's a better drugstore brands for cheaper, like Essence or Elf, uh, Milani. I mean, I don't know her, I know Milani is a little bit more expensive, but 
Um, okay, I'm gonna try to focus just on the top ones here, just so you guys can see a little bit of a difference um, in the pigments. We'll see if that works, I don't know. I tried to do that yesterday and it was so-so. I mean, like I said, definitely Okay, so just, just so you guys can see the difference. Okay, I think I'm gonna even it up on this side and add the pink. Yeah, there we go. So, I don't know, I feel like the blush, I, it was good. It's good, it's good pigment and stuff. I mean, it's great pigment, but I, like I said, I feel like there's cheaper alternatives out there. So not a necessary. Eyeshadows, the eyeshadow palettes, phenomenal. And these false lashes, because I already put them on yesterday, are amazing. Now, I had already cut them, so let me show you what they are. In Holly, 20 Holly. Um, just really, really beautiful. And these are normally $6, which I think is great for a good pair of, um, for a good pair of lashes. I but paid for those lashes $4.50. Okay, I'm using the INV Super Stronghold Lash Adhesive. It's in black. Man, I feel like my cheeks are like really bright, but that's probably because I don't have lipstick on. Oh, and I am gonna use this. I'm gonna put some on the eye, so I'll do that in a little bit. I, you guys, okay, I don't know what happens to me when I get on camera. It's like I go brain dead. I wear liquid liner and false lashes almost every day when I'm out and about doing my own thing. When I'm in my bathroom, I can do it really well. Everything looks amazing. Oh, constantly have mercy. Do you guys see how I messed up my eye? I got some of the lash glue. No. Mm. You guys can laugh, it's okay. Because you know what? Laughing is better than getting mad. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry and then see if I can pull it off. But these little like black up here, let's see if I can just fluff them away. Oh, no, they're not going away, they're not. Okay, well, you know what? All right, let's move on to the other eye. <laughs> let's move on. Before I put the false lash on, let me use the um, liquid eyeshadow that I purchased from them. They're real um, popular for this. Look how pretty that is. This is in 08 Regal. And I paid, normally it's $8.50 and I paid $6.37 for it. Let's just put it right in the middle. I don't even know. Oh, it's so pretty. Man, that's really nice. It's got a little odd smell to it. I don't know. Ooh, that is so pretty, you guys. Okay, let's see if I can do that on this eye. I'm gonna even up my eyes because I gotta go run errands after this. That, these really are nice. Um, I, I don't generally go for the um, single like eyeshadows or like the liquids, but gosh, they're really, I know they have their place, but Man, so, so pretty. All right, let's see if I can um, get this false lash on this other eye without messing up. Don't hold your breath, you guys. Whew. Okay, falsies are on. I'm letting the glue dry on this side, trying not to touch it too much. Lip. I have a couple different options for lips, but I'm gonna line my lips with the Jaclyn Cosmetics um, Lip Liner in Cupcake.
think I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty um, Gloss Balm in Mauve Wives. I had the NYX lip oils. I was gonna kind of mix these two. So I don't know, maybe I'll still put these on top of the Mauve Wives, we'll see. This one's that chic. Let's try it. Both would have went beautifully. So I'm just gonna put them together. The NYX lip oil in that chic just darkens up the Fenty Beauty Mob Wipes just a little bit. Very beautiful, very, very beautiful. Okay guys, let me show you the final look. So as you look at the final look, like if you're just looking at me like right on, you really can't see anywhere that I messed up. But if you were to, if I were to show you, oh look at this or oh look at that, you know, we always know where we messed up at, <laughs> but the person looking at you, you know, your neighbor, your friend, the clerk, the, the, you know, the, the bank teller, you know, your coworkers, nobody notices these little mess ups, you guys. So Hey guys, so let me give you a few thoughts. Um, the liquid shadow is great. It does have a little bit of an odd smell. I don't know if it's just mixing with, um, I don't smell it right now, but when I was applying it, I could smell it. So it dries down with no smell, but you know, some people are turned off by that. I don't know, but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad, um, but very beautiful. Um, really great to have just kind of like a, a one and done or to just add a little extra oomph to the eyes. False lashes, loved them. They look great. Um, and for the price, um, and again, these were in Holly, H-O-L-L-Y. Um, and the blush, um, the blush, I can live without the blush. There's better alternatives that are way cheaper to spend almost $10 on a blush. I just don't think it's, you know, that's necessary ever. Eyeshadow palettes, incredible. Um, I think these are their bread and butter. They are phenomenal. Um, and just an FYI, yesterday when I was doing the video, the one that I scratched, in this particular palette, the one that's I'm falling for you, this purple shade right here, it's called Unconditional, looked exactly the same as this liquid shadow on my eyes when I did it yesterday. So take it with a grain of salt. Sometimes you can get pigments that are very similar in a, in a shadow, or if you just prefer the one and done, I'm just, just an FYI, okay? But the, the palettes, I will be collecting more of their palettes. And I probably will, honestly, you guys, I probably will buy some more of these as well because they are just really, really pretty. Comment below, tell me what you think. Do you have Moira Cosmetics? Are you a fan? Tell me what your opinion is. But thank you guys so much for just let me put this makeup on for you. And please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.